All right, so in this case, um, if I want to expand this logarithm expression, the first thing I'm going to want to do is get rid of the root. So I can rewrite this as ln of z over z squared plus 1 raised to the 1 half. Then, as far as my properties of logarithms, I can take whatever I have an exponent, and I can bring it down in front. So therefore, that's the 1 half times ln of z over z squared plus 1. And I'll put these in parentheses, just so you're taking, your, you're taking the ln of z divided by z squared plus 1. Then the next thing of our extension said that we can take, if we have a logarithm of the division of two, uh, two expressions, we can rewrite that as um, we can rewrite that as the difference of two logarithmic expressions of the numerator and the denominator. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to include a bracket, because now I'm breaking this up into two different logarithmic expressions. All right, so make sure that's just 1 half times all of this. You just don't want to put the 1 half in front of, in front of the L, ln of z. You've got to put the 1 half in front of everything. Now, the next thing that comes to the case is a lot of students want to put the 2 down in front. But that 2 is what you're taking the ln of. So we cannot bring that um, down in front. All right. Um, so that's just going to stay just as it is. If that 2 was up here, then you could bring it down in front. But since it's inside our logarithm, our natural logarithm, we're going to leave it like that. And that's your final answer. OK? So if you feel like you got that correct, then you can give yourself an M.